side foot plants, my planting foot points towards the goal, but this foot coming through the ball and landing on my shooting foot. I know there's tons of free kick tutorials already on YouTube, but I thought I'd give you guys my own version and give you a few of my own tips. Now, let me start by saying free kicks are not something I practice a lot. And it's something I'm definitely gonna work on more this season. But my biggest pet peeve is when players go to the field every day and they're really motivated to get better, but all they do is take free kicks, hit dead balls all day. And I know it's a lot of fun, it's great, but realistically in the match, how many free kicks do you actually take? Sometimes you go the whole game. Sometimes you might even go the whole. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. The whole season, if you're not the free kick taker, without hitting a dead ball. So why is this something that you put 100% of your time into. I think it's something that you should work on 15, 20 minutes after every training session. And it's definitely a great skill to have because one day it will come in very handy. So today I wanted to show you guys a few free kicks I took and I'm just gonna talk a little bit about technique and talk mainly about one change that I made while I was taking these shots that got me much better results. So here we're in a slow motion and this was before I made the change. But as you can see, there's a few things to my free kick technique. I don't have a very big run up. I take a slow run up. I plant my foot beside the ball, point my toes to the net. And then the foot contact with the ball is I'm trying to push it with almost the big side of my big toe, the inside of my big toe, pushing that through the ball. I'm trying to visualize the path of the ball. I'm not just hitting it and hoping it. I'm trying to visualize the path that that ball is gonna take. So I'm trying to hit this top corner here. I'm trying to get it over the wall, number one, so important. The worst thing you can do is put it into the wall. But I'm pushing it over the wall, I'm visualizing the path that ball is gonna take, and I'm trying to curl it to that far corner. Now you can see my body movement, it's taking me away from goal, and that's helping the ball curl back. Now here's the change I made. Now, if you can see there, I put a lot more emphasis on landing on my shooting foot. Before I was just hitting it and kind of guiding it there. When I started doing this, as you can see, pushing through the ball, same technique, but I'm really flowing through on my shooting foot, as you'll see here. My side foot plants, my planting foot points towards the goal, but this foot coming through the ball and landing on my shooting foot. This if you want to improve faster and achieve more this season, use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. This allowed me to get much more whip on the ball and it actually allowed me to be much more consistent as far as hitting the net, not putting it over the net. It would really get more pace on it, but it would make sure that the ball came back down after it went over the wall. So I was really happy with this one change and unfortunately it started raining at this point and I had to end the session, but I want to get out there this week and practice this technique some more. So as you can see in slow motion, short run up, eye on the ball. Yes, I'm trying to visualize, get it over the wall, plant that foot pointing towards the net, hit with the inside of my big toe, and I'm falling through in the air, landing on my shooting foot. And that was really allowing me to get more whip on the ball. So if you guys like this free kick tutorial and you want some more tips, Again, I only did this in a few minutes before it started raining, so I can definitely do some more of this in the future. Now you can see my two different techniques. The one I wasn't jumping through on my shooting foot, I was just kind of placing the ball there. I wasn't getting enough power. But as soon as I started to make that change, hitting the ball with the same technique, body over the ball, planting foot pointing towards the goal, hitting with the inside of my big toe, but jumping through on that shooting foot, I was getting- From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the Online Soccer Academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field, and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow. Link in the description below.